Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting uh, repeated integral. Well, uh, how to begin? Okay, uh, when we talked about repeated integral, uh, we should talk about Cauchy repeated integral. So, if we have uh, repeated integrals n times, uh, this is the uh, Cauchy uh, integral formula. If uh, here um, f be a continuous function on the real line uh, then here minus n of x repeated integral of x times sorry n times uh, this is the formula integral from a to x then uh, a to uh, sigma 1 and this is going to a to uh, sigma n minus 1 uh, f of uh, sigma n d uh, sigma n uh, and uh, this is going to uh, d uh, sigma 2 d sigma 1 and uh, we can represent uh, this repeated integral uh, as a single integral so uh, this is equal to 1 over n minus 1 factorial integral from a to x integral from a to x x minus t to the n minus 1 f of t d t okay uh, this is the uh, Cauchy repeated integral formula generally uh, we use this formula in fractional calculus okay then uh, if we take our integral is equal to i now uh, we know i is equal to now we can use uh, this formula so uh, here uh, we have n is equal to we know uh, 100 so 1 over according to this formula 1 over n minus 1 so 1 over uh, 100 minus 1 factorial integral from uh, a to x here also a to x so here 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 now uh, x minus t x we know 1 so 1 minus t raised to the 99 power times uh, f of uh, t we know natural log of 1 minus t d t okay then uh, here we have 1 over 99 factorial and now uh, we can use uh, king's property i think you know about it if we have 0 to a f of x dx we can write 0 to a f of a minus x dx so uh, if we apply king's rule we know here integral from 0 to 1 now here 1 minus uh, instead of t we have 1 minus t raised to the 99 power natural log of 1 minus 1 minus t d t now uh, let us simplify a little bit so here 0 to 1 now 1 get cancelled we have t raised to the 99 power natural log of 1 again get cancelled natural log of t d t well uh, to solve this integral uh, we can use ibp integration by parts so here 1 over 99 factorial integral from 0 to 1 now as a first function uh, we can take natural log of t then d by dt integration of t to the 99 power we know t to the 100 over 100 power sorry 100 d t okay then uh, we know next step uh, sorry this is equal to 1 over 99 factorial uh, then a product of these two functions so uh, we have natural log of t uh, times t to the 100 power over 100 uh, from 0 to 1 uh, then uh, here minus again integral from 0 to 1 sorry again integral from 0 to 1 and now rewrite this function so t to the 100 power over 100 now 
derivative of natural log of t we know 1 over t d t okay now uh, we can simplify uh, now if we apply limit uh, here if we apply 1 natural log of 1 we know 0 if we apply 0 t 0 so uh, this part will be 0 so we have uh, minus 1 over 99 factorial uh, times now here we know uh, we have 1 over 100 is a constant and then here t get cancelled integral from 0 to 1 t to the 99 power we know uh, t to the 100 power over 100 from 0 to 1 okay then uh, minus 1 over 99 factorial and now if we apply limit we know here we have 1 over 100 times 1 over 100 now we know 99 factorial times 100 is equal to 100 factorial so we have 100 factorial times 100 okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching